Right. And that grandmother actually tells me, Mike, that this was the one and only time that she has ever tried heroin. Actually talking to her today comes on the same day that the attorney general is traveling all across our area, talking to local officials about the opioid epidemic. You can see that meeting in Westmoreland County is happening right behind me right now. But I want you to listen more at this point to what that grandmother told me today about her experience. When I come out, they were, she was on the ground. On Saturday night, Sharon Fowler died on a sidewalk in front of her granddaughter. It was like a morsel of salt. It was hardly anything. It killed me. I literally died. An officer patrolling the area saw Fowler slumped over on Ross Traver Avenue, her young granddaughter's stroller sticking out in the roadway, the child screaming from inside. I was a little distraught with things going on, and someone says, here, you know, just try this will make you feel better. The 60 year old says this was the first time she's ever tried heroin and she has no idea if it was laced with something. That was a dumb move on my part and I am feeling very embarrassed right now to even say this but I think that it will help others. Fowler was lucky. She was revived with Narcan and her granddaughter is safe. Now she hopes her story will be a lesson to others at any age. If I have grandchildren and my sisters and my brothers and I like I, I don't want to live like this. I never want this to happen again and God knows that I will never ever touch that stuff again in my life. She's charged with endangering the welfare of a child right now. She's out of jail and seeking help herself. Please listen to this. If someone can hear it, if it helps one, I'm grateful for that. Now, Sharon Fowler has no other criminal history of drug-related charges. As for that roundtable discussion, they'll be wrapping up here shortly and headed to Cambria County for a meeting there at 7 o'clock tonight. Reporting in Greensburg, Westmoreland County, Brittany Hoke, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.